Just a few months on from the season 2 finale, fans of the Grand Tour already itching for the show's return. Luckily, Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and James May have all been hard at work, travelling across the globe testing the latest cars and competing in a range of challenges. Whilst they've tried to keep things as top secret as they can ahead of the show's release later in the year, we do know some things we can expect from Season 3. I'm Ash Robertson from Man Thoughts, and this is 10 Things We Know About the Grand Tour Season 3. Number 10. Lamborghini Urus in Sweden It was back in March when Jeremy Clarkson caused quite a buzz on social media, announcing the beginning of Season 3 filming. And what a way to start than by road testing the bold new 4x4 from Lamborghini, the Urus. In a post to his tribe, Jeremy teased the filming by sharing snapshots, showing both a very snowy path and later the dashboard of the new Lambo SUV. More social media posts placed Clarkson in Sweden, specifically Arioplog, the mecca for car manufacturers testing their cars in tough winter conditions. It's therefore fair to assume Jezza will be testing the off-road capabilities of the supercar manufacturer's new super SUV. Number 9. Italian Classics in Scotland A month later and the boys were already filming their first challenge, taking three Italian Classics across Scotland. Following on from their trip to Scotland during filming for Season 1, the trio took on the famous North Coast 500, what Jeremy called the Highlands answer to Route 66. Taking on the 516 mile route, Jeremy was driving the Alfa Romeo GTV6, James May chose the Lancia Gamma Coupe, and Richard, aiming to stay on the road this time, drove the Fiat X19. Before the trip culminated at Inverness Castle, Clarkson challenged Drive Tribe members to guess which one would break down first. Not long later, we found out the answer. Number 8. McLaren Senna at Silverstone In another post to his Drive Tribe account, Jeremy sparked interest when he uploaded pictures of the Senna, the most extreme and exclusive hypercar McLaren has ever made. In his post, Clarkson was unanimously positive, claiming the Senna was the new best supercar. Whilst the pictures showed Clarkson was driving the Senna at Silverstone, and he even spoke of the Sandman's reaction to the car's launch control, inferring he was with a film crew, a later post confirmed the Senna's spot in Season 3. Number 7. 4x4s in Colombia Whilst this film was originally planned for Season 2, the well-documented delays in filming meant that it just wasn't ready in time. The film saw Clarkson, Hammond and May travel across Colombia in three 4x4s. Jeremy in a Jeep Wrangler, Richard in a monster Chevy Silverado and James in a questionable Fiat Panda 4x4. The expedition, which marks the boys' first visit to South America since the infamous Patagonia special, was actually filmed in January this year. According to an Entertainment Weekly interview with Clarkson, it was planned to be released as a standalone episode in mid-2018. Now we're over halfway through the year, that plan seems to have changed too, and could possibly mean it becomes an extra episode of the upcoming season. Number 6. Muscle Cars in Detroit When you think of Detroit, you naturally think of muscle cars. So it's the perfect location for the boys to test drive three of the latest and baddest muscle cars from America. Tearing around the wrecks of the Packard Automotive Plant, Jeremy predictably drove the Ford Mustang RTR, Richard was also predictably in a Dodge Challenger Demon, and James, maybe not so predictably, was in the Hennessy Exorcist. Whilst the premise behind the film is still top secret, fan footage has shown the boys barreling down Grand Boulevard in the usual Grand Tour fashion. Number 5. Sebastian Vettel guest stars The trio has always been known for their star-pulling power, whether it's as a star in the reasonably priced car, celebrity face-off, or even just a quick guest spot. Season 3 looks to continue this tradition, with a guest appearance from none other than four-time Formula 1 world champion and current Ferrari driver Sebastian Vettel. Filmed at a petrol station near Silverstone after Vettel's British Grand Prix victory, his appearance seems to tie in with James May and Richard Hammond test driving May's Ferrari 458 Speciale. The film, which may hint to a promotional tie in with Shell, one of Ferrari's main sponsors, also features a guest spot from Oliver, Richard Hammond's beloved Opel Cadet that he rescued from Botswana. Fans locally hinted that both presenters were trying to get the German racing ace to choose which car is best. Number 4. River Crossing in Mongolia If our prediction is true and the Columbia special will be included in Season 3, it looks like we'll be treated to two specials. 
whilst information is still fairly scarce, what we do know is the boys will be heading out to Mongolia for what will be the Season 3 special. Only a select few photos have been shared via Drive Tribe, and they don't reveal too much information. All we know is it was a six-stage camping trip across all different types of terrain. One would have to guess that it's not likely to be off-roaders, with the boys taking these on their tour to Colombia. Number 3. Cheap Car Challenge in China Season 3 will mark two big returns for the Grand Tour Trio. Firstly with a return to China, and secondly the long-awaited return of a proper cheap car challenge. It's a proven formula which was so well utilised while the boys hosted Top Gear, yet hasn't really transferred to the Grand Tour. Sure the boys drove Maseratis in Season 1, and then old Jags in Season 2, but it just wasn't the same. The cars need to be well used. So while the boys are in China launching Drive Tribe in Asia, the boys pit what Clarkson describes as three terrible European and American cars to compete in a set of challenges. Clarkson picked a BMW 7 Series, James a Mercedes S-Class and Richard a Cadillac STS. Number 2. Jeremy tests the Chinese Rolls Royce. It makes sense while you're in China to make the most of the time. And what better way than to explore China's famous leniency with copyright infringement? Leaving Hammond and May behind, Jeremy Clarkson filmed a unique road test for Season 3, driving the Hongqi L5, otherwise known as the Chinese Rolls Royce. In a post to his Drive Tribe account, Clarkson described the L5 as not the best car he's ever driven, but almost certainly the coolest. And number 1, a November release. Whilst this one is by no means confirmed, Jeremy Clarkson dropped what could be a hint as to the release date of Grand Tour Season 3. In a picture that looks like it was taken in Jezza's VW Golf GTI, the date shows the 11th of March 2018, or to Americans, the 3rd of November. Of course this is all just speculation, but in his caption Jeremy wrote, the Grand Tour will be back later in the year. It fits the Grand Tour release schedule too, with the Season 1 premiere going live on the 18th of November, and the debut episode of Season 2 airing a little bit later on the 8th of December, which is no surprise with the challenges the teams faced in filming. Of course we could be reading too much into this, after all the third will be a Saturday, and not the usual Friday release, so only time will tell. Nonetheless, there's plenty to be excited about when it comes to the Grand Tour Season 3, as the show continues to live up to its name by travelling the globe and driving the most amazing cars. The season looks to be packed with action, so much so we couldn't fit it all into our 10 things. But nonetheless, fans of Clarkson, Hammond and May have just months to wait until the next season. With no news being good news, it seems the boys have managed to look after themselves this time to ensure the show stays on schedule. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and tell us down below what you are looking forward to the most from Grand Tour Season 3. Until next time, I've been Ash Robertson and this is Man Thoughts.